Yo, what's up, man? It's G Herbo. You already know what it is. Check me out on the Bullhead Kev podcast. Two five out now. Yo, it's the Bullet Cab Show. Special guest in here. The guy just dropped his album, man. What's up, broski? 25 is out. Yeah, man. Out. G everywhere. Herbo. What's up? Okay, What's going man. on, kid? I saw a meme, and it was a pentagram made of Air Force Ones, and there was a, one black oh, one, one in the black middle. One in the middle. I saw that. And it, it said, <laughs> trying to uh, say on summon, summon, summon G Herbo. G -Herbo. G -Herbo. Yeah. To get the album early, yeah, that was some funny shit. Uh, yeah, like clean was dirty was all type of shit. How many pairs of Air Forces do you own? Because there was the video you go into the store and just buying like it seemed like a truckload uh, of them. I don't know. I just I, I just threw like probably like two hundred pair out like that. I, Cause I only went once, like probably two three hundred pair, like eight nine trash bags full of them bitches. Like threw them just. Well, I ain't throwing away. Actually, I told my assistant to just go get him away to yeah i was about to say that that would be uh that'd be socially irresponsible yeah. for you to throw away some brand no, new air force i gave him away actually i ain't even throw him away i just gave him away like went all you're one and done on away. the forces yeah 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 for sure yeah but I you got, might like a lot right now though i just bought like 60 something could you wear a pair like for like two days straight though uh I mean, like if, it, if you're like in grind mode recording yeah, like, running around yeah, i just got on jogging uh, jogging right. or something like that yeah but if i'm going out like with a fit i'm one and done how many pairs of air forces in your life do you think you've purchased I don't know, bro. I've been, I've been banned since I was like a kid, bro. Over a th like, over a thousand for sure. Hell yeah, I'd probably would buy a thousand and shit in, in a couple years. That shit's crazy, man. Maybe a few years. It's three hundred sixty five days a year, probably like. And the, know, and and white. these are just strictly all whites. Yeah, Big Bro said I didn't ran through a million of them bitches. Already. That's how Dr. Dre is though. Dre's like that. Dre got his his uniform. It's the black tee, the black pants, and he only wears Air Forces like, once. Yeah, forces. Yeah, that's. I um I know I didn't ran through a lot though, bro. I've been wearing them since since like a kid, literally. Never dabble in the black forces though. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I used to wear black forces too though. I used to wear. That was a time in your life though when yeah. things might have been different, yeah, right? Man, we were stuck <laughs> and I used to wear black ones. I definitely used to wear black ones. Um, talk about this new album, man. I think uh, you know. It's, it's, you've been through a lot yeah. in the last 12 months it's been public and, and I feel like this album is an important one for you and your legacy man for how sure. you feeling about it uh, I'm excited man you know I woke up and I got my first number one album bro I feel good man I feel real good this shit congrats thank you bro 25 yeah. what what made you want to go with that uh, you know I, I turned 25 back in October and you know it's just just life and you know the position I'm in right now is surreal, bro, because I lost a lot, you know, along the way. A lot of, course. of people I love didn't see 25 years old. Like, when I was, I always be saying, like, I didn't say it more than one time. Like, when I was 18, 17 years old, and, like, one of my older guys, like, from the neighborhood of turn 25, we just start calling him OG. Like, yeah, you OG status now. So, Which is crazy. Like, it's crazy. It's hard to see 25, you know what I'm saying, where yeah, I come man. from. It's a real milestone. So for me to be 25 years old and and accomplish so much and reach this much level of success in my life and to still be modest about it because I know it's so much shit out there that I still want to do. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I feel like uh, just where I'm at and all the emotions I went through recording this project and just, you know, tr beating so much shit, like everything, every obstacle ever came my way in life, bro, I just found a way to get through it, like not complain or not want to give up or you right. know what I'm saying like not wear that shit publicly you feel what I'm saying I just I just deal with it you know what I'm saying and I think when I turn 25 bro I'm not even I'm not even lying like it's like a switch just went off I just my, I just start thinking different and everything like literally as soon as I turned 25 it was like I ain't gonna say I changed but it was like some in me just made me think about everything differently bro so yeah man I feel like you know Amongst your peers, like in, you know, at least my perception from a fan's perception is like, you seem to have your head on your shoulders real straight. Like, you know, the last few years, you really don't hear your name in no goofy shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and the same can't be said for a lot of the guys who are around your same age doing yeah. the same thing. You know what I mean? So kudos to you. Cause you, I feel like you've been on your grown man shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? No, for sure. I've always been mature. You know what I'm saying? I always had a level head and, you know, 
thought about shit a little differently. You know what I'm saying? I, I take pride in that, bro. I ain't trying to be known for no goofy, weirdo, bozo of ass course. shit. Especially in this industry, man. A lot of shit like that take place, man. You know, like, niggas be having gimmicks and shit like that. And it just, I don't know, it, it don't really it don't turn work. out bad. Yeah, it turn right. out bad for them, bro. So it's like... I just be trying to focus on me. I don't chase nothing that's not for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be like the next artist. I'm just trying to be me, bro. Like the best me I could be. And I win doing that. Like fuck all that other shit. A hundred percent. Um, sh I feel like right now we're kind of, you know, Chicago's had so many waves of, of, uh, success from the nineties till now, obviously twist the common Kanye, you know, all that then chance and, and Vic Mensa and then and, and Chief Keith and all that was kind of going on around the same time and you you were a part of the, a lot of the, the drill scene and, but I feel like right now between you Dirk Polo G like it feels like this has been the biggest that Chicago hip hop has ever been like it feels yeah, like it's crazy it's a crazy thing to say now now, now obviously yeah. Kanye uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm sure. not trying to take away from Kanye as no. being the biggest artist in the Absolutely, world yeah. but I just mean when you look at the landscape of who's the hottest motherfuckers in hip hop, right? Like it's a lot of Chicago and it's never really been like that. It's yeah. always been like one guy, uh -huh. but it's like y'all really running shit up right now in a yeah. way that's like not fair to a lot of other regions. Yeah. And what's dope is you and Dirk, just y'all's evolution since mm -hmm. you started no, for sure. has been so special to see. <laughs> Cause you guys have grown as musicians, grown as rappers, grown as men, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the longevity there's something to be said about that as well man no i've been hearing that a lot though i'm not even gonna lie like you're not even the first person to say that you know just from the outside looking in maybe it look a little different yeah you know? i don't know i like what everybody doing you know what i'm saying but it's just something different about chicago bro we grind differently like, you know you know it's not no quitting us like and i always say that i'll be telling people like man you can't really like Take none of this shit personal in the industry when you go through shit, all the adversity that come with this Well, shit. we didn't mention Juice World too. Yeah, of course. I mean, R.I.P. I don't live my little brother, man. You know, that's a, that's, a, that's a given, like, automatically, you know. But Chicago just, I feel like we built for pressure. We, mm -hmm. we built for pressure. We don't really, you know, bust under pressure. And those are people who last the longest, especially in this industry, because it's going, you're going to be under pressure, you know what I'm saying? So. I think that's what stand out the most to me about, you know, being from Chicago and seeing other Chicago artists, like, succeed and shit. Well, how's, um, you know, obviously, a peer of yours, Dirk, is is having the best year of his life, but he's also faced a lot of personal losses recently. Mm -hmm. um, have you been in contact with him recently? Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to bro on a regular basis. So, you know what I'm saying, it's especially, um, you know, recently after, after the, you know, the, the untimely passing of his brother. His brother yeah. Of course, I reached out. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, we locked in. For sure. How big of a loss do you think just, you know, two opposite sides of the spectrum, but losing Juice World and then losing King Vaughn within, inside of 12 months yeah. for the city, man, it's, it's crazy. No, it's different, bro. Like, we take a lot of losses in Chicago, man. I don't know. I don't, it's like maybe it's a, a dark cloud over that bitch or something. That's why I don't really... I, I don't know, like, you, you can't take it personal, though. Like, you, it's like, I don't know something about this shit. I feel like when you do that, it, you fall under it. You know what I'm saying? You got to, like, just try to keep pushing, you know. Like, I don't know. It's, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, like, going on in Chicago. I, I never really, I can't really speak bad about Chicago. Of course. As much as I be wanting to, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, but. I mean, it's home, it's man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you recently gave Nikki props for giving you, like, one of your first biggest breaks with yeah, the Chirac yeah. record. You know, the Beam Me Up, Scotty Tape Drop. But, like, sure. how, how, how much did that kind of change your world initially when it happened? Because her fans are crazy people. Shout yeah. out to the Barbs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're no, writers for real. Crazy, crazy fans. But how did that initially happen? Like, how did she reach out? Give me the story behind that Chirac um, record. Man, I was, I probably was, like, 17 or something. This one I used to be just... Thugging, bro. Mm -hmm. I, ain't really, I wasn't really like chasing music, trying to make a real career out of this shit. But you know, I had already made a name for myself as far as like lyrically and shit. Right. You know, um, and shit, I was in the studio, bro, like four in the morning, some shit like that. It was late as fuck mm -hmm. that night, and she had um, they reached out. They had called my manager at the time, like, yeah, you know, uh. It's Nikki, these are you know, these Nikki people. We want um we want her to slide. We want her to come 
right. come to L.A. and do a record. You know, we fuck with them. And we so high, like, it's four in the morning. We have a lean and right, 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 weed, right. all type of shit. And we ain't even think it was for real. We like, man, they ain't no fucking nigga. Hang up, man. That ain't them people. And they call back, like, a couple days later, like, man, what the fuck is y'all on? Y'all not trying to come out here and do this record? We like, damn, they for real. It's really them. And she put me on a plane immediately. I came out there in, like, two, three days, met up with her. Got in the studio. She told me how much she fucked with me, and she pulled the record up, and I did that bitch right on the spot. Like, that shit's yeah. legendary. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I never did she did bring it. you out at Summer Jam in yeah, New York? Because I was Summer I was on the side of the stage. No, for sure. That was like Summer Jam. 20, that was 2015? 2014? 2014, I believe. Meek was on that show. Yeah. I think yeah, Drake was Meek, there. Drake. Everybody was there. Yeah, no, I was there. That shit was special, that man. Was when I met Wayne for the first time. Wayne was, was there. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Young Money had that bitch showed up. Oh, for sure. That shit was crazy, bro. That had to be insane coming out as yeah, a kid yeah, on Summer like, Jam stage, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. It's so crazy. I never, it was like surreal to me. It, it's, it ain't, it didn't even like hit me when it happened. You know, I wish I was like how I am now, like real focused and like confident. Cause right. I, it didn't hit me. Like I ain't even really feel like I was there, bro. Like even being on the stage. I couldn't even see all the fans. I like blacked out. I was so damn nervous doing some shit like oh, I can that. Imagine. So young. I just came out there and did it real quick and then tried to get off the stage as, as quick as possible. I ain't going to lie to nah, you. That's, that's got to be. That's I like, was nervous as That's fuck. some bucket list shit, man. Yeah. Hey, interrupting the interview to tell you about our good friends at Odd Socks. Now, as you can see, I always have my Odd Socks on, baby. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shout out to my bony ass knees. Um, listen, go to oddsocksofficial.com. They got all the craziest socks. These are the outsiders. You know what I'm saying? They got SpongeBob. They got Cheech and Chong. Listen, Breaking Bad, Godfather, whatever you need, they got it. And now they have underwear. That's right. You can get your Odd Socks underwear. The boxer briefs are the best underwear that you could ever fit on your ass. Trust me when I tell you. These are Chucky draws. What you know about top ramen underwear, all right? Go to oddsocksofficial.com. Use the keyword bootleg Kev at checkout, and you'll save 20% off of, of your order Underwear, masks, slippers, socks, whatever you need, they got it. Oddsocksofficial.com. Keyword bootleg Kevin. Check out. Save 20%. Um, you have been, you know, what I fuck with you, you always tap in with the West Coast. Like you've worked with Mozzie. Yeah. You've worked with Burner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, YG. YG. I mean, we can go down the list. What What is it about like guys like Mozzie, like Burner, like, you know, where, because yeah. these are independent artists, you know what I'm saying? And a lot, a lot of guys, um, you know, when you're independent, you're from, I feel like the West is kind of yeah. an afterthought a lot in hip hop, unfortunately. I mean, you know, I understand the independent grind because I'm still independent. I'm an independent artist. Right, well, just so people um, know, this new album is yeah. independent. Yeah, for sure, man. You know, shout out to my partners, man, Universal Republic and, and Grooves. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, I understand the independent grind. It's a grind. And with, with me knowing that, I try to like connect with, as many artists as I can, you know what I'm saying, to, to expand my horizon, you right. know what I'm saying, uh, and whether they independent or not, you know, I, I fuck with Mozzie, though, like, for nah, sure. No, Mozzie's one man. of the coldest, man. Yeah, me and Mozzie One of my favorite rappers. In. Me and Mozzie locked in, for sure, that's my real dog. But I be trying to, like, connect with art artists because I feel like that's what it's for, but you got to build, like, relationships, first of all, like, you know oh, what I'm saying? Of course. Like, I don't really just want to just jump on songs with people and, Fuck with a nigga like, oh, yeah, I'm going to jump on this and fuck with him because it's hot or fuck with this because I feel like I'm hot at the moment. Like, I ain't never really wanted to be one of them artists that just got songs with a bunch of niggas that I don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So that play a big part in it, too. Like, if I fuck with you and your movement, then right, right, right. it's nothing. Like, it is what it is. I'm going to pull up to the studio, rock out, pull up to your hood, shoot the video, you pull up to my hood, whatever the case um, how hard is it, man, you know, without getting into the details of your situation, but like having something like that out there and something like that kind of floating over you, how hard is it to stay focused and finish an album yeah. under those circumstances? Because I've been in similar yeah. situations where if it just feels like yeah. a cloud over like your head. A cloud over you for sure. No, nah, for man. sure, because you don't know what's going to happen. No, for you're sure. waiting for this. For, you're just <laughs> waiting for to see what... Yeah. I've been there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So Absolutely. I can only imagine how hard it is to just put your head down and get to work. You know no, what I'm saying? It's, it's tough, man. But um, like I said, bro, I've been under pressure my whole life. So I be feeling like I'm built for this shit, bro. It, it, it is what it is. I don't really like be tripping over shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm cool. So at the end of the day, 
I just wake up every day and just do the next best thing for me, bro. I get mm -hmm. up, go to work. It is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't really, I don't feel like one situation or that situation in particular would have me right. under pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to just get up and do the right thing. Has there been times where you think if you find yourself thinking about it too much that it kind of puts you in like a, like a, a weird funk or depression? No, I really don't. I ain't gonna lie. That's 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 one thing that's that I I mean, it's like a strength. I don't dwell on shit, bro. I don't that's think good. about that shit. I'm not yeah. waking up stressing over like shit like that. I got too much shit going on in my life and already other shit well. I, I mean plus you you just had a fucking you know, baby too. Yeah, so I don't really be tripping off shit, bro, to be honest, bro. I don't dwell on situations, you know what I'm saying? I it's child number three for you, right? Two. Two. Child yeah, number two. Two boys. Two right, boys. right. Two boys. First one with your girl. Yeah. First uh, one with Ariana yep, and Tiny. Yep, yep, yep. Um, how how's how has it been the second go round now that you've already been through it once? Because I know having a kid uh, is crazy. No, I mean I don't know. I love kids, so it's it's, it's shit. It's just easy. It's regular. Bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's I just wake. Only thing is, shit. We got a brand new baby. You learning the baby again. That's the only shit. Like every you got to clean day. the diapers. Yeah, I mean that's easy. That's the easy part. Right, 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 right. It's really like. Comforting them, you know. So hardest part is to get the kid on a sleeping schedule. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, just the comfortability of it. You know, you got to really learn your kid again. What he like, what put him to sleep. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How you need to rock him to sleep, and how many hours of sleep to get, and then you got to sleep when he sleeps so you can get some sleep. You feel me? Like, that's the only thing that you got to really like adjust to. Everything else, that shit be simple. Like, is it how how? Because you know, having uh, two baby mamas. And having two kids who are very much so in your life, does everyone get along all the time? Yeah, for the most part, because I yeah. feel like you and Ari have like been extremely cordial. At least, yeah. like you no, know, it's, it's smooth, bro. It's smooth, bro. Because a lot of times it's the other way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I feel like that, that speaks a lot to what I was saying earlier. Like, you just a real mature motherfucker. You ain't no, with none it's of the smooth, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Should be smooth with me, bro. I don't be tripping no shit. Don't nobody really like be tripping for. How you feeling, um? About about the finals, man. My Phoenix Suns finals, made the finals. Yeah, man, I fuck with it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm happy for Book and for Chris Paul, bro, for sure. I'm definitely happy for both of them, man. I ain't gonna lie. If they I play the Bucks, that's not far from Chicago. No, it's not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to a finals game anyway. Though I got to. I want to go. You gotta go watch Chris Paul win the ring because yeah, he's going man, I to. Fuck, I fuck with Chris Paul. You know, I, I actually want. I want to see him and Book win. You know, um, I fuck with Giannis too, though. But I, I hate to see him out. You know, what I'm saying. Yeah. I really want to see him. Hurt himself and shit, but all I know is if if I'm the Hawks for, do I'm make for Phoenix, for if sure. the Hawks make the finals, Atlanta's gonna be fucking upside down. Yeah, <laughs> no, for sure. I, you know it's crazy. I really that's who I want to go to the finals though. I, I want, hope I, I hope Hawks. Atlanta makes it so I have an excuse like to Trae go to Young, ATL. I like Trey Young a lot. For now. sure. If they if the finals is in Atlanta, I'm definitely going. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. Yeah, 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 nah, that'll be. But you're going for the Suns officially. Yeah, we I have mean, that I'm on the record. I'm going for the Suns if they play the Bucks. Okay, okay. Otherwise, you're going for the Hawks. Yeah, I want to see Trey win too. Though I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm, I'm either way. Honestly, like you know, what I'm saying like if 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 Phoenix play Atlanta in the finals, I don't even care who wins. To be honest, that's beautiful. Uh, so on this album, you got some dope features. Obviously, Kid Leroy is on here. Gunna, yeah, Twenty One Savage, Polo, Lil Polo, Lil T. I mean, yeah, my it, son, your son on the album. That shit's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite record on this album, man? Um, my favorite record is uh, it's like a tab between Cold World, which uh, was recorded here at Ready Set Studios. Yeah, exactly, I recorded that here in this building. It's crazy. Um, Cold World is like my, my favorite, probably, and I like uh, Mad Max a lot. That's my favorite, you know, because I don't know. I be I be like I like that hard lyrical shit. Right, 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 right. Like, That'd be my favorite shit. Lyrically, who is out right now that like you're a fan of that you haven't worked with yet? Because there's uh, so much like lyricism is at an all time high right now. Uh, I want to work with Conway. I like Conway a lot. Hold on, man. Bro, have a real he was just here recording like two hours ago. That's cr I just talked to him though. Oh, you just talked. He yeah. literally was like, "Yo, tell him I said what up. We no, got to work." Then I just I was just on Facetime with him yesterday. So okay, okay, um, okay. Yeah, he I was just here. Conway, yeah, that's my boy. Um, who else I fuck with lyrically that that really got it that I. Haven't worked with yet. Um, it's a lot. It's it's a, it's a it's a few niggas that's really spitting. I would say Conway probably the, the one person that that's really really hard. That Conway I come with the with. and he comes with the pain too. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. I feel like we both gonna be like a like a two headed dragon on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Have you I ever like worked that. with Freddie Gibbs yet? 
Uh, matter of fact, I was just I was just with Freddie. Yeah, me and Freddie got some shit. I was just with him like two, three days ago. Me and Freddie gives. He's a beast. Shit. Yeah. So you got some shit on the I way. Jumped, I actually jumped on somebody else shit, and Freddie was on it. You feel what I'm saying? There it is. Sure. So Conway G Herbo record is on the way. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. That'd for be sure. crazy. Yeah, I can't wait. And Benny, my man's me and Benny been locked in for like a long time. Yeah, nah. I didn't went out there personally to go fuck with Benny when like. In five, Buffalo? Six years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Buffalo's a crazy yeah, place. Yeah, no, Benny, my man. We sure. just were out there like, uh, when we were out there, April? Yeah. yeah, we was out in Buffalo in April, and that yeah. shit was. I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with the whole Griselda for real, though. Like, for like sure. West Side Gun, he All hard of as them, fuck man. to me. Like, I wanna work with Bro, too. I ain't gonna lie. Nah. You need to just go, just go you lock just, in. You just go me. lock in with all three of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? Hey, if you could do a joint album with anybody right now, who would it be? Um, A joint album with anybody. Uh,. I think I ain't gonna lie. To be honest, I'm working on some joint albums already. Well, who? Some shit. Uh, me and Grizzly been locked in. Trying to do some shit. Me and Grizzly got some crazy shit. Uh, I want to do a joint with Polo. Me and Polo probably do a joint. Uh, me and Baby still gonna do our joint album. But if yeah. I had to just reach for the stars, man, I would say I want to do some shit with. Shit, I'm going big. I want to do something with Hov. Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. Two, three, four, five songs with Hov real quick. Why not? Up. Hey, how many <laughs> records do you have? So you got a whole project with T Grizzly, who's incredible. Yeah, me uh, and T Grizzly, been, we've been in the studio locked in. How so many records you guys got so right far? Right now, we got uh, like five. And the Polo G Herbo project, is is that something that's actually being worked uh, on? No, nah, me and Polo got a lot of records too, though, but it ain't even like it's just a thought for real, though. But I, I think it, it might, you know, shit might happen. That'd be crazy. Yeah. And then what is this like? We always hear Bibby's not rapping anymore. Yeah, no, Bibby, man, Bibby, you know he's like, a, he's one of the m most yeah, popping executives Bibby in the game on, now. Yeah, I'm finna say he on some on some mogul shit right now. But he's on his mogul shit. We could sure. use another free crack though. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. He definitely. I want to drag him out retirement, man. You know, I think he he gonna he gonna rap though. He gonna put some shit out for sure because he still love music, bro. People he's don't still. even understand like the mogul shit he's on because yeah. he he don't. I, the dope thing I like about what Bibby and what he's been doing the last few years is like. He ain't like bragging about all the shit he's involved in. No, he don't. He don't at all. You know, he let his work do the talking for him. You know what I'm saying? That's the way he supposed to. He always been a humble nigga anyway. He not really finna like pop his shit for real. Like he just be chilling, you know. Like if you know him, you know what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't think people really realize like bro really hard as fuck. It's not niggas out here that really could rap better than him. He just be chill. I remember seeing him on tour. He opened up for Ty Dolla Sign in like 2000. Yeah, I remember that. 15, 16. I saw him in Austin, Texas. I was like, oh, this dude's different. Yeah, no, for real. I remember that for sure. Yeah. But yeah, no, bro, he's still like one of the hardest niggas out right now that he's just not rapping. <laughs> are you, are you, Um, now that everything's back open, I know you're, you're, you're doing some of the Rolling Louds. I know you're not doing Miami. Yeah, no, I'm doing. Uh, are you doing LA? I think I'm doing LA. Yeah, LA. Are you going to be doing any tour shit, or are you just doing spot um, dates? No, actually, I'm 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 just trying to figure out my routes right now for tour. You know, we ain't really. I got a couple spot dates on the calendar, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get on tour, bro. Like, yeah, I feel like, like it's PTSD overdue, bro. Tour was you know it got they, delayed. Yeah, it got delayed. Like it's twelve it's shows in, the shit was lit. So I'm definitely ready to pick back up for sure. We should be. We're gonna be touring. We'll be touring sometime soon, right, Britt? For sure. As long as you bring Brittany on the road with oh, you, yeah, everything no, you will know, go smoothly. She go, I go, man. She makes sure it's all right. Yes. Well, look, hey, the album is out. Um, do we have a single that we can introduce, Brittany? What's the single? T.O.P. T.O.P. All right, I'm going to let you introduce dog, that 21 shit. 21 Savage. Let's get it. 